The exhibit, entitled American Enterprise, starts with the merchant era, which covers the 1770s to the 1850s. There were fur trappers, there were farmers, and artisans and merchants, and all of them worked pretty closely together. Trade developed when the fur trappers living in the Midwest would sell their furs 800 kilometers to the south in exchange for the goods they wanted. This then is very different from artisans in the East Coast where they were working initially in their homes and in their small shops behind their homes. They produced goods and they sold them to people they knew, to neighbors. Eventually, those goods were made in factories. Industrialization changed workers' lives. Curator Peter Liebold organized a part of the exhibit dealing with the corporate era from the 1860s to the 1930s. It really covers the period where workers are moving from rural areas as farmers into cities uh, as industrial workers. So it's this real major transformation in the nature of work. While farmers and artisans had control over their own lives, says Liebold, they lost that control in factories. As the nation industrialized and owners and managers became more powerful, there were always conflicts. Investors wanted a bigger piece of the pie, while the workers fought for greater benefits. The only tradition in the United States is the tradition of no traditions. That. Uh, um, Throughout the history of the country, um, people have uh, um, had very strong opinions, and nobody ever wins. The biggest companies at that time, like Carnegie Steel, Standard Oil, and Ford Motor, employed tens of thousands of workers. Factories got bigger, more specialized machinery. Uh, the work that any individual did became much narrower. So instead of a skilled worker that did all phases of operation, uh, the workers became uh, cogs in a machine. The work was completely depersonalized as factories became the norm. But innovation, says Liebold, is one of the keys to American history. The nation has, has been very quick to continue to change. That as one technique is, is mastered, new techniques come up and, and the old ones are left behind. In the consumer era, between the 1940s and 1970s, consumers were encouraged by advertisers to buy more goods and services. The nature of work um, does start to change um, in the latter part of, of, of the 1800s and, and quickly in the, in the 1900s um, with uh, the rise of, uh, of retail, with the rise of service uh, sector jobs. In the 1980s, women started playing a broader role in the U.S. economy, and the new global era arrived. National borders ceased to be less important, and uh, um, being able to trade around the world becomes very important. The workforce itself becomes um, much more mobile. Today, some Americans are questioning the idea of globalization and experts are debating whether it will continue or nations will put up trade barriers and retreat into smaller manufacturing and consumption patterns in the future. For Voice of America, Nicoletta Illich.